Okay. Hey, yo, what's poppin'? Party people, I'm that one dude, Christian Yusuf, and welcome to Remothered Broken Porcelain. This is the sequel, or maybe a prequel to Remothered Tormented Fathers. If you haven't checked out that gameplay, uh, I suggest going to watch that first, or maybe watching this first, I don't know. But I am gonna make references to Tormented Fathers in this game if they come up. So I would suggest watching Tormented Fathers before watching this, because this game did come out after. I don't know anything about this, only that it gives some context as to what happened in Dr. Reed's past and how she is involved with the Red Nun from the first game. So without further ado, let's hop right into this shit! How did they know? We have the solution to your problem. Phenoxil. It isolates and removes your torment, be it an old traumatic event or a bad memory. Say goodbye to restless nights and constant churning over it. Forget about it forever. It's finally possible with Phenoxil. Phenoxil. Fucking monsters. Shit, we're just getting into it like this. Okay. Uh, explore the area, press... What was you can't that? can't erase memories forever. It would be like erasing time itself. Memories and time go hand in hand. The consequences would be even more devastating than Alzheimer's disease. There would be no separation between pre- and post-trauma. The memories would wander autonomously in search for answers. Or common ground. Fractured by spells of amnesia, hallucinations, and emotional swings, two opposing perceptions would coexist, overlapping and threatening one another. To the detriment of the one truth, oh. now shattered, the so called porcelain memory. Ah, so that's why the game is called Broken Porcelain, because it's a. Uh, it's broke the memory. Broken memory, something like that. Okay, all right, so already off rip. I'm piecing things together. Phenoxyl is from the first game, like I said. All right, there's areas to hide. Um, like I said, if you haven't watched the first game, I do recommend watching me play that. I have to make sure I don't get caught. What the wait, 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 I'm running. Can we talk about this for a second? Why do you just throw me in? What the hell? Where am I going? Ah, uh, jump, jump, jump over the thing, girl. Okay, all right, what is happening? Go. Oh! Okay, hiding is not an option. What the fuck do I do? My gun is empty. The first time you hit an enemy with a distance of what? 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 Okay. All right. Can we talk about this? What the hell am I doing? Okay. Stop. Stop. Fucking stop. So that was supposed to happen. I, I do remember, I it's clicking now. I do remember that in the comments of my last video of uh, Torments of Fathers, the very end of the game, I was informed that I was supposed to just let the guy kill me. <laughs> I would have been trying at that for forever. I definitely forgot that I, okay. All right, now we, now we can get into the game. 
And are you really suggesting that all this time, these people kept these experiments synthesizing this parasite? The moths that were carried out on the nuns at the plantation a secret, making them intentionally ill as if they were lab rats? Just for this drug? The phenoxyl. The farm, the moths. The hypnosis. And all those deep and dark family secrets. Family secrets are very dangerous. The most dangerous of any kind. The only way to survive was burying them so far down inside ourselves. And to move on. Richard Felton, Ariana Gallo, Professor Wyman, the Ashman sons, Stefano and Gloria Ashman. They all made a choice. It's a lot of people involved. And so did I. So you chose to forget. For 49 years, I left a part of me behind at that time. I did everything they asked of me. Forget. But one day, that missing puzzle piece resurfaced. Like dirt stuck beneath your fingernails. It is there, and always has been. Sometimes it is a song, a lullaby, or a certain item. But for me, that missing puzzle piece was a special person. A lonely one, just like me. Okay, quite a bit to digest. I am really hoping that the gameplay is a little smoother in this game. 1973, that's the year I was born. <laughs> Yes. Hello? Who is this? Ashman? Mr. Ashman. Andrea! The girl is here. Shall I let her in? Go on. Sit down. Please? Can you say please? First? You know why you're here, young lady, don't you? Oh, shit. Alright, hold on. Are you gonna let me look around? Are you gonna let me inspect anything? Can I inspect anything? Am I wasting time by inspecting anything? Probably, so I'm just gonna sit down. I am willing to turn a blind eye to the money and the cigarettes. Don't be fooled into thinking that I don't know about them. But I don't... for everything else, I refuse to do so. This is not a tourist resort, nor a playground. I don't know what you're talking about. entry, larceny. What plans did you have for that gun? For God's sake, Jennifer, tell me. I don't know anymore. It seems you are a magnet for trouble. From what I'm reading, you caused a lot of hassle, especially at the Flemington Girls Institute. Other girls similar to you ended up straight in juvie. Did you know that? All I can do is apologize. I can assure you I never intended. Young lady, what are you running away from? You are safe here. You can talk to me about it. I'm serious. <sighs> Very well. We will have to talk about this again. Considering what has happened, I have made arrangements to give you new chores. You will help Eliza in the kitchen. But, sir! You will do your best. I've always done my best here! I seriously doubt that. What when do you, you mean? become of age, you will do as you wish and as you see fit. But until then, you are under my care and you will do as I say. Run along now. Okay, so we are oh, either... And by the way, Lindsay will no longer be a problem for you. What do you mean? She insisted that I send you elsewhere. Instead, I have organized to have her transferred to another facility. They will be coming to collect her next week. You may leave. Shh. <laughs> 
So this is either the Jennifer that becomes Mr. Felton or... The bathroom in room number 212 has to be cleaned. Uh-huh. And don't forget that you'll be helping Elisa in the kitchen after lunch. Uh-huh. Okay. You've really done it this time. Have I? Make sure that the two of you don't get him agitated uh, after we his parents' death. Sure as hell try. Mr. Ashman Jr. did everything by himself here. What happened to them? Dead, my dear. Like all those who grow old. And I'm sure the morning sped up the process. Morning? For the nearby convent. Have you seriously not heard of it? The convent just went up in flames one day. Even this building was partly damaged. A dozen nuns died in that fire. Mr. Ashman's sister, Gloria, being one of them. That's terrible. They had contracted some sort of disease. They practically went blind. They had gone mad. And that Dr. Wyman? Sure as hell didn't help them. Poor girl. She was locked up in there by her own parents. Why? Hi, Jen. Oh, Andrea. I'll start with room 213. I'm trying to piece stuff Mr. together. Mr. Ashman have something to do with it? Shh! Lower your voice! You'll get us thrown out of here. It seems that Mr. Ashman had the bad habit of touching his little sister. Oh, God! Obviously, the parents didn't like this at all. So they sent him to a family relative in the north and his sister Gloria to the convent. If it were me, I would have done the opposite. For him, the arrangement only lasted a few months. For her instead? Well, that's another story entirely. He had always been mommy and daddy, sweetheart. Alright, you, you don't have to close the door on me. Like... Okay. I'm trying to piece stuff together uh, as we go on. Make the most out of items. You can combine items to get more powerful tools. Open the inventory and select crafting. There's a crafting system. There's a... How do I open my inventory? There's a crafting system now. Ah, we have semi-working mirrors as well? Good on you guys for upping your game. Moth key. What the fuck is that for? I got a knife. As I was saying. I can't believe I'm still dragging around this lice-infested suitcase. I've had it since I was at the Flemington Institute. I'm trying to piece things together uh, as best as I can right now because I'm hearing names that sound very familiar and I just, I'm just trying to understand from what I know and what I'm being told. Because Gloria, I think, is the name of the assistant that Mr. Felton had. But if Gloria died, then that, I... I'm just gonna wait. Ah! Fucking hell, then you scared me. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> Ever heard of knocking? No way. It is so last year. Everything okay? With Ashman? Of course! Fantastic! Never better! Everything is great! He got angry, didn't he? Why would you care, Lynn? Tell me. I was just asking. Asking what? It's none of your business. What are you talking about? You can't be upset with me forever. Watch me. I'm trying not to be, but my arm keeps reminding me. I didn't mean to. It was only... an accident. Do you have any idea how guilty I feel? Jen, please. I feel so shit about it. I didn't want it to get to this point. I already know it all. Ashman told me everything. What are you talking about? You suggested to him that I be transferred elsewhere. Is that what you wanted? You're really a bitch sometimes. A bitch who let herself be fooled. But no, in the end, you withdrew yourself. You didn't want to get in trouble. I didn't want to get in trouble. Well said! 
You think we would have gotten away with it? Right? Go away, Lin. Leave me alone. No! You're, you're going to let me speak. Go away! <laughs> then please! Open the fucking door! Door! Fuck you, Lin! Fuck you! That was petty. You were just loyal. I know we knew each other, but I was wrong. Go away. I beg you. Damn. Okay. Huh? What the hell is going on? No, thank you. Another moth key. I don't know what these are used for, but uh, I'd rather take the knife than the screwdriver. Or no, I'll take the screwdriver. Uh, 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 more crafting materials? Oh, uh, one of the other things that I was also going to say is I don't know if this is the Jennifer that becomes Mr. Felton because of the Phenoxyl. Or if this is Celeste, who was forced to be Jennifer because her mother wanted her to live out the... I'm sure I'll figure it out. I think that this is the Jennifer that becomes Mr. Felton. What the hell does the bottle do? Oh, I think it's a diversion item. Uh... Then? Oh. Investigate. Reach the lobby. Okay. 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 So this is how I look at these are tutorials. These are collectibles. Carmenella Santi. Yo, she dead. Locked. From outside? What does it mean? If this is a joke, I don't like it at all, Lynn. Go away. You genuinely don't have to tell me twice. I will. I'm gone. I don't know who wrote this note for me, but I'm gone. Oh my god, there's so many places to hide. Room 213. Eliza said she would have taken care of it. I don't understand why it's locked. She's taking some personal time. Locked? This door has never been locked before. Follow Andrea. Okay, all right. Following Andrea. I'm not sure why the music's kicking up. It's time to eat. Who is that tray for? Who are you talking to? I don't understand. There aren't any guests. What the hell does Acheron Failed test. Uncontrollable. Acheron... Acherontia. Proliferation. It was eating... It was eating it alive. What the fuck? What the hell did they do to you? You know they call him Lyman once upon a time! <laughs> That's my bad arm, too! It's part of all of us. And we are all part of the same thing. Hey, yo! 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 Stop just throwing me in like that! Stop doing that! Fuck! Fuck! You can't hide forever! But I can! Watch me! I'm doing it right now! All these new hiding spots and I- No! 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 Shit! 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 No! Oh! Where do you want me to go? Okay, I need to remember to keep it together while I am being watched, I think, or whatever's happening. Most of this hotel is 
You don't know where I'm at. You'll never be able to find me. I'm so good at hiding that... I could slip right under your nose and you wouldn't know. So now what? What? What do I do? Am I good? Are we chilling? Stealth. No! Why do we have stealth? In oh, be sure not to get hurt. Even when looking at something else, stalkers can notice you by noise you make. Crouch and walk to make sure not to make noise or not to be heard. Same thing. Sometimes stalkers won't be alone. Beware of everything that can hear you and put your enemy on. Oh, and put your enemy on your track. Whatever. Okay. Andrea, what the hell is going on? We did their chores. This is all so surreal. Obviously not. Exit? Can I leave? Can I go? You gonna let me leave? I'm gone. I'm gone. It would be best if I just told him I don't work with crybabies. I'm out of here. I'm gone. Because the goal is to get to the lobby, right? I'm gone. This does not look like the lobby at all. What the hell? Rope? Can I start crafting things now? Ow! Oh wait, is this a mirror that I can hide or save in? Save? Yeah, look at that. That's cool. Huh. Saving doesn't take as long as it used to. This must be the hotel's older wing. The one which was engulfed and destroyed by the fire. Uh-huh. Is this how I get to the lobby? Did Andrea really suspect that someone was poisoning her? But but who? I'm not going to be mad. I'm not going mad. I'm I'm not possessed. It's the air and the food. They're poisoning me. Got it. Well, if they are, let's be honest, would that necessarily be a bad thing for all of us? No. Oh, dear. What happened? What? It's Andrea. Fuck, fuck. What the hell is going on with you, Andrea? I, I must warn the others. The only one who actually gets any work done around here is me. That's probably because you're the only one working around here. I have yet to see anybody else. I've seen all of three people working at this hotel so far. Should I have done that? I don't think I should have done that. I definitely shouldn't have done that. It's the key for the padlock. It was a padlock? So what do I do? What am I supposed to do? Hold on, can I check my objectives first? They gave me like a million different things. Use the telephone in the lounge room. Ask for help. Ask Elisa for help. Find a way to room 213. Unlock and use the lounge room telephone. Okay. You don't want to come over here. I promise you don't want to come over here. All right, she's gone. We're good. We're all right now. We're all right for now. I like that the door doesn't just swing open in this game now. It's like it, you can you can creep open to see if there's anybody 
behind the door. Can I do anything about this? Can I turn the power back on? Repair the electrical cable. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> They're giving me so many different things to take care of. It's just slightly overwhelming. Not super terrible or anything, but just, just slightly overwhelming. You don't know I'm back here. Just keep sewing, just keep sewing. Just keep sewing, 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 sewing. What do you do, you sew? So, oh, 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 you suck. This is the lounge room here. Locked. That's still locked. Okay, so I'm gonna go to room 213 first. I think I have what I need to get in there. Man, being in this hotel reminds me of playing at dead of night. Andrea is the only one to have keys to all the locked rooms. I have to find a way to get her to open this door. What? What do you mean? Damn, we can't make external calls. Only to other hotel rooms. Reserve phone line, no external calls. To contact the following rooms, please follow these instructions. Dial room number, followed by pound, for rooms 211, 212, 213, and 37. Dial pound, followed by floor number, and room to floors, blank through 10. It works! Uh Okay. So two one three pound? Think now. I have to make sure not to get caught. Oh god, I hope they don't find out. Coming from room two thirteen. Okay, no, 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 don't come out here, don't come out here. Fuck! No! 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 I was gonna hide in the little chest, but I didn't know that she was gonna be so close. All right, I got a perfect hiding spot, perfect hiding spot, perfect hiding spot. Ooh, okay. Just go back to your your due diligence. Go back to sewing. I just needed you to unlock the door. Jennifer? Yes? Don't make me lose my patience. I'm not. All right. They're coming. Bro! This is where I was trying to hide when she went into the room. So that way when she walked past me after unlocking the door, I could just pop out of the chest, go to the room, and make some progress. Everything's all good. Room 213 should be unlocked now. And we're gonna find that this girl is dead. There's no power. It won't work. Access the balcony from 213. Look for Eliza or Elisa, whatever her name is. Trusted safe instructions. Your device model is 176 pound or I guess one number 176. If you forget your code for technical assistance, call 62131. 62131. 61. I shouldn't have encouraged Lynn to take part in the contest. And maybe I wouldn't have almost lost an arm. What was going through your head, Lynn? Be on top of the world. Talent contest for young amateur artists and composers. Original songs. Fancy. Uh, so I need to find the key. Or the code for the- No! Oh! What the fuck? Oh yeah, I'm 110% taking the shovel as a weapon. What is that? What are you doing? Electrical cable. I need to use that for the d d d shit in the basement. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Yes, yes, please. Yes, I did it. That was easy. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Just because uh, I'm remembering. My next objective is to now unlock the safe in room two in room 213 but what could that code possibly be the phone doesn't do external calls so i don't know how i would be able to figure out or how i would be able to call the number for the code and i kind of want to explore the rest of this hotel what
Skills. Okay, we got skill trees. Mini game at mini game against stalkers trying to break through a door you are blocking is slightly easier. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Stamina increased by 5%. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I should probably stop. I should probably look through these before I start spending. Okay, so this is how much it costs to level up. All right, so I can only level up two more things. So I really have to be conscious about this. That's what the moth keys are for. Improve proficiency when using the moth eye. Increase range and duration or of highlight effect after moth eye ends. Add a chance to obtain special bonuses when picking up items. Huh? Adds a chance that after acquiring a moth key, you're gifted another one. That sounds pretty fire. This seems like it would be a good, le uh, a good skill increase in the long run. Because like, if I increase this, then the chances of me getting another moth key go up. One out of five times upon finding a quick defense item, knife, etc., it will already have the corrosive power up. Ah. Okay. Ah! <laughs> okay. This game is weird. This game is odd. Ah, oh, I can start crafting stuff now. Okay, what is this? Stun and damage the enemy for some time. Applies butcher power up enabling to use the QDI two times before it breaks. Applies corrosive power up to QDI to deal damage over time. Interesting. There's more uh oh oh okay okay i'm understanding let me see applies corrosive blind the enemy for a little bit stun and damage the enemy for some time okay uh, okay got it While they're wandering In order to the factory house, reset your state, I insert the following code. Working my ass off. Three, two, one, four. Three, two, one, four. Is that. Do I dial that? Ugh, no, okay. All right, all right, all right. All okay. Fault. Okay. Okay, three, two, one, four. We're gonna put that into the safe, and that should factory reset the safe from the safe. Because I thought that if I dial three, two, one, four, it was going to give me like a new code or something like that. I don't know how I was expecting it to work. Oh no! What could the code be? Three, two, one, four. Yes, nice. Yes, yes. Hell yeah! Balcony key. The French window. Did she just call the balcony the French window? Damn, it's locked. From from both sides? Moth eye or moth key. You should definitely give me another one because I have the upgrade for it, right? Oh god, I'm freezing. Yeah, I figured. She's coming out here? But why? How? Hide in the dumpster. Window. I must find a way to reach it. Hide somewhere. Where can I hide? Just crouch. Just crouch. Ring around the rosy. I'm sure I had plenty of time to actually do what I needed to do, but I'm not going to take any chances because I'm smarter than that. I'm I'm smarter than that. I'm given an opportunity to hide. Get away with this. What? No! 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 What the hell? Get her! Get her! Mink! What the fuck was that? Mink! It 
hurts. Well, I just wasted two of my upgraded items. So that sucks. Uh 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 there's nowhere to hide in here, is there? Yeah, there's nowhere to hide in here. I kind of fucked up. Why does she look like that, though? Because she obviously doesn't naturally look like that. Ah, shit, 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 shit. Well, she's going to see me. They completed their chores? Obviously not. I'm small enough to hide under that bench. I'm just saying. <sighs> Why does she look like that with, like, all the... All the the bugs and the I'm so tired of all this. All that stuff on her I face. Want to break from it all? Cause like I said, she doesn't naturally look like that. But only when I'm being chased by her. So is that Jennifer's imagination, or does she naturally look that way? Or like, is she manipulating herself to look that way? There we go. Please. Got it. I can do it. I can do it. I feel so confused right now. What are all these cages doing here? Felton? Gallo? So... This is the real reason why Rosso Gallo closed its doors. Dying like that, painfully, it would have been the same for any other person. Especially after everything they went through. Alright, shush! Gosh! December 13th, 1971, the tragedy of the Rosso, Rosso Gallo Farm Gallo Farm continues. Not only was the business activity suspended due to a pending investigation following a confirmed intentional poisoning of the nuns of the Covent and the resident at the Rosso Gallo Farm, with a highly dangerous parasite, the tragedy continues. Marta Ashman passed away this morning, only a few days after her husband, Boris Ashman. It is, imported, it is reported that Marta Ashman died of natural causes. The couple had claimed to be completely unaware of the terrible experiments led by their business partners. Felton and Gallo, who were devoted to creating a more effective prototype of the dangerous drug that is phenoxyl, the experiments were conducted in secrecy by Professor A. E. Wyman, who took his life only last month. The future of the Ashman family tree lies in the hands of the firstborn son, Stefano. After his sister, Gloria, a nun who was the victim of the fire that engulfed the Cristo Morente Covent in the plantation just days after. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> We're hiding, we're hiding, we're hiding, we're hiding, we're hiding, we're hiding, we're hiding. Shh, 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 shh. Calm down, calm down. Everything is fine. Mommy is here. Why would she just put it there? Mommy is exhausted. One of these days, you're all going to make me crazy. Is she going to sleep? Is she going to take a nap? There's no way. Why? Steal Andrea's key. Why? Well? Here we go. We're taking a chance. Whoa, whoa! Okay. Whoa, whoa! 
Defeat Andrea? What the fuck? Um, what do you want me to do? I'm stuck! I'm stuck! I can't move! I thought that the baby doll was a throwable. And so I was trying to set it up when in my mind I was trying to wind it up to, to throw. And that's why I wasn't doing anything to her. I don't have any throwables. Oh wait, can I just leave the room? I'll show you. Uh, okay, how am I supposed to defeat her number one? Stealth attack stalkers. Oh, if you can get close enough without being spotted, you can attack the stalkers. Hit them enough to make them fall to the ground for a while. Use this time to your advantage. Maybe this will. Maybe this way you'll be able to get to use those keys. Get to those keys. Whatever. Okay. Okay, I can make this work. I can make this work. I'm counting to three. One, two, two and a half. Ready or not, here I come. Where are you hiding, you slut? Damn, why I gotta be all that? That felt severely unnecessary. Now I really gotta kill you. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Stealth attack, I stealth attack. I told Ashman that we didn't need desperate children. How do I do the stealth attack? What? That's a joke. Be here. How do I do the stealth attack? Um. Okay. They're coming. This way, something sometimes drawing in enemies. Can play your play to your advantage. Press Q to make yourself heard by nearby. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna do that. Shit. the keys no I what the fuck is it the scroll wheel this time Bink! that didn't help at all No! Uh, I'm just trying to get out of here. Still here? How do I stealth attack her? Okay, I have a plan. I have an idea because I was reading the the, the instructions for the stealth attack, and it says you have to have a defense item. I don't know if the shovel was considered a defense item or not, but the screwdriver should be able to stab her in the back. Unless the screwdriver and the shovel aren't considered defense items, but I... Because I would assume that the, like, the scissors and the kitchen knife and the shovel, those are all defense items, 
and everything else is a their chores. diversion item. Like the teacups. Throwing the teacup at her would be like defense, but it would also be considered diversion because if I were to throw it at the wall to get her to move somewhere else to where I want to go. Yeah, anyways. I Okay, just hold on. Wait. I just want her to walk past me so that I can get out of here and stab her in the back. How am I? What the fuck? I'm genuinely getting pissed now. Be best if I just told him. I don't work with babies. So what am I supposed to do in those instances? Because I thought it was the scroll wheel. Am I supposed to hold it and then? No, don't do that. 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 Please don't turn around. Please don't turn around. Please don't turn around. Please don't turn around. Huh? Bro! I don't wanna die! I don't wanna die! What? Am I not supposed to be crouched? What it, what am I doing wrong? What am I I mean, cause like <laughs> I have a defense item that should be able to just Right in the back. But it's not doing, it's not even prompting. Am I supposed to, am I? Okay, all right, there we go, there we go, there we go. Ah! Fuck! Ah. So I just, I just really wasn't doing it before. So let me be clear. My objective is to defeat Gloria. I mean, not Gloria, uh, Andrea, by stabbing her in the back. I need to get those keys somehow. My objective is to get the fucking keys. Defeat Andrea. And then stealth attack. If an enemy is unaware of your presence and you sneak up behind them with a defense item, you'll be able to backstab them, dealing a great deal of damage. If enough damage is dealt, Stalker will fall unconscious to the ground, but this is only temporary. So this is definitely a defense item. All right, I see that. I see that I have a defense item in my hand. The question is, why am I not able to stab her with it? The only one who actually gets any work done around here is me. <laughs> Damn you. Okay, that wasn't what I wanted to do at all. Oh wait, 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 what? Grab the fucking keys! You want to play? Let's play then! No, oh, that's impossible. I have to try again. I am going to scream at the top of my lungs. I didn't know that that was going to make her faint. Because I thought I just threw a diversion item at her. But apparently that was enough. I need, I need a throwable. I need a, a goddamn teacup or something. All right, I got these bottles. They are throwables. So I just need to figure out where she's at and just stealth my way behind. I, uh. I didn't do it. Ah! So now we're gonna do this the right way. I didn't need desperate children. So why did that not work? The why did she not faint? Oh my god. Alright, alright, we got the keys. We got the keys. Uh leave this where do I take them? What do I do with the keys? Now that I have them, I'm just now realizing that I have no idea what I need to do with these goddamn keys. Um, as a matter of fact, we're done. I'm gonna save. I'm saving. I'm done. Uh, <laughs> this game feels like the difficulty was cranked up to like 11. Because the last game, I always had throwables on me. 
I always had something to throw to stun the enemy, and it always felt like I knew what I was doing. With this game, I, I feel lost turning every corner. That whole Gloria fight? Why do I keep wanting to call her Gloria? That whole Andrea fight? No, thank you. Because I, I had, I had the bottle, the plastic bottle, which I assume was doing less damage to her than the glass bottle, which would make sense. Logically, it would make sense that a glass bottle is going to do more damage if thrown to somebody than a plastic bottle. But just trying to figure out the difference between the defense items, because they did, they said defense items. So here I am thinking that if I had a, a screwdriver, I would be able to. But no, it was just, you have to have a throwable, make sure that they don't know where you are, and throw it at them. I struggled finding throwables, it, it feels like there's more diversions than there are throwables. I'm interested to see what else is going to happen story-wise, but as far as gameplay, it's gonna take a bit of getting used to. If you want to see my most recent video, I'll have that link somewhere around here, and if you want to see the full playlist of broken, remothered, tormented fathers i'm gonna have that link somewhere around here as well i'm gonna get out of here i love you guys stay safe out there take it easy and big buddy out